Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to the Wasteland. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. We've got the transformer going in place here, right? We've got the uh, the wind turbine set up here, and the environmental station is here. And I've gone ahead and I placed the transformer in this exact spot. It's actually like, I didn't plan it this way, but I'm really thankful it worked. Um, this exact spot is just enough to tag that battery and to tag this building. So it should provide power transfer everywhere, which means this, um, it's kind of weird. The battery, you can see here, the battery has a capacity and it has 100%, but I don't know if it's actually like storing a thousand. It, it doesn't look like it is. There's nothing in storage, right? Um, even though this is really close to the battery, this cannot charge the battery. There's nothing connecting them yet. So the transformer is what's going to ultimately do that. Let's get a specialist. You, come over here and finish this, please. The transformer is responsible for transferring energy from one place to another. And they're going to transfer it within their effective area. So basically, this device cannot get power into the battery without a transformer. Likewise, the transformer is also responsible for giving power to the buildings in this area. So this location is going to just barely tick that battery and just barely get that building. Uh, and as a result, all of this stuff will just work. And if we need any more buildings that need power, I can also put this directly in this area or around this area. And this one transformer can take care of the transfer of all of that energy. Now we're going to be producing 14 power, but we're going to be using 12 power consumption for the environmental station which means we'll be net positive plus two. And even though we're powering this for with wind energy pretty consistently, the battery will still be getting a little bit of trickle charge. And we'll hopefully be able to be full by the time we have another magnetic storm, hopefully. Specialists, let's take a look really quick. We've got uh, this buddy here, I think. Ooh, we got a car. There it is. There is a car on the map and it's pretty broken down. Now we can take this back to our base and repair it, and then we can usually use it and drive it and stuff. But until we drive it, until we repair it, it's uh, not that useful. Before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and scout this area as we can. And this is another bandit owned area. Uh, so we'll come back to that. I'm gonna head towards the car, I think. And for you, I wanna go and scout this. Now, one thing I wish they had added to the game a little bit, it's its not like it's a mistake. I just, it's, I don't know, it's, it's just something, you know, is I feel like movement speed should be slower in a bandit controlled area. My logic behind this is that if the bandits control the area, they likely have a much greater presence and much more greater, you know, scouting ability and vision and control and information transfer, all that stuff, right? Like they control the area, not just the camp. Uh, as a result, we would want to move slower and more carefully through an area to get to our destination. So I don't think there's a there should be a risk of battle necessarily in the area, but we should have to move, I think maybe half the speed. Um, and, and I think that would be fair in, in the sense, like if you can go from one to two like that, uh, through this area, you should only be able to get to here per turn. And that should kind of be like the give and take uh, for this. Because right now I can do whatever I want in here. I can go all over the place right next to the base even. And there's no risk to me. I don't know, it's just something like a, a role playing thing. I kind of feel like if you control this area, maybe I should have to go a little bit more carefully through it. That's all. All right. And I realize I can't scavenge any resources, but or even know where they are. Uh, then that, that's fine. But just the movement through the area, I think, is uh, is a good balance tactic that could be maybe making it a little bit more interesting. Uh, if you have to decide which way to go, it might be faster right now to go straight through the bandit area. But if you implemented something like that, people might decide to go around it instead. You know. All right. So the transformer's set up, ready to rock. Battery should be getting storage now, it doesn't look like it's going to show me exactly how much charge is in this specific battery it just says 2000 capacity and if i come here it says we have 10 in storage so we are starting to store energy and we are starting to work on getting pollution taken care of now so all we really need now to get the environmental station fully functional is to get this waste dump set up and so uh, we've got construction happening on that. The specialist is coming on over to, to assist with that. So it should be done pretty quick. There we go. So now all the toxic waste 
that they're getting off of this stuff, and all this pollution that they're taking care of here, can now be dumped into this waste dump after it's all processed and all that. And then once this is all cleared, we'll be able to have our, our colonists can go from this station to this station without getting infected and polluted because they're going to get sick a lot here. Uh, and as a result of that, I'm actually thinking we dump another medical tent in here. I know it doesn't need power. And actually, that's that's a good point. Maybe we make this reserve for a hospital because this thing, uh, the, let's show you this transformer. You can see how the transformer kind of, I wonder if it's okay to have two transformers in the same area. It's just ineffective, but uh, it's not as efficient to do that because you're doubling coverage for no reason. But um, if I wanted to, for example, you see how that the circle, right, of what we cover, it's just there, barely hitting that battery. I got to think about where I want my hospital later too. Speaking of uh, hospitals, that's in the first, that's further in the tech tree. So let's uh, let's focus on tech stuff. Um, I'm kind of thinking agriculture is interesting. Who says we can't farm fish? A well-functioning aquifer can provide the colony with plenty of fish to complement other more veggie-based farming. I kind of like this. We can do animal husbandry as well. Unlock the ranch and barter animals with, from societies to grow them in your colony for meat and other benefits. Honestly, let's let's go for agriculture, like our aquaculture. I kind of like that. And then we can start growing fish uh, potentially in this area. It's I, honestly we should be going fishing in this area now that we've now that we've uh, researched this. I really should have a fisher a fishing hunt happening right here. Uh, this is ninety nine percent effective. I don't think I can ask for anything better than that. Well, I can get a hundred. Uh, yeah, let's pop fishing right here. And let's get a road. Yeah, this road right here should take them. Let's go kind of like that. So with fishing here, I've only got four water left. I think it's probably a good idea to look into you know, getting additional waters in. And like the, a well up this way is probably an okay idea. It doesn't look like we're at a, too much in terms of pollution going on in this area. So I think we're gonna dump it right. Uh, just a little bit like the pollution, man. I wanna get away from the pollution. Uh, a well out this way could be okay. I don't know where I'm gonna put the other buildings though. And actually, you know what? We could try the water collector instead does give us two additional water and it doesn't cost us concrete which is really nice but it has to be uh it has to have a worker in it so it's gonna take staff i think right now i'm really strapped for people so i'm gonna go for putting one right here and uh we'll have that be a pretty high priority i want this to be a pretty high priority for builders and then i'm also thinking about clean water storage again just having more water storage in general sounds like a really great idea. Over here could be okay for that. Um, I, although we don't have any homes. Maybe just in the back here. Like this is where everybody is hanging out, right? So what if I put it right here behind the... This is I know it's kind of close to everything. And then I was going to put shanties and start... Or start having more shanties and stuff. There might be room. I think there's room for one more shanty here. Let's queue up one more shanty right here. And then we'll call it good on housing for the for now. Because I want to make sure we have spare housing. We have only three extra space. So this will add an extra three. And we'll just get the road to extend out that way too. Okay. Uh, so wait, I just placed two people on farms here. And uh, I know you might notice a little cuts in the video and stuff. I'm trying to fit this in with... Uh, like, I have to watch my son right now. So I'm trying to fit this recording in with... It's multitasking day. That's what it is today. Multitasking day. Uh, all right, so the well will go there and uh, fishing hut goes here. And if I repeat myself at all in this video, I apologize. It's just a byproduct of having my attention a little bit split with that daddy duties for the day. Uh, I think uh, cockroaches. Uh, canned food sounds more appetizing, but this cockroaches don't hurt me. I mean, we're probably going to get them both. So why don't we just scavenge this first since I can get there in one turn, one day. And we got another movement, more movement up here. I want to go towards that car. See what we can do for that. And then for you, I think we're going to go and have uh, have a day with the uh, the bandit lair here. 
see if we can just take them out. It'll take two turns to remove them. Or no, it won't, because we have extra AP. So let's just go. Bam, bam. I like how we shoot first, and if we kill them, they don't get to attack back. That's fun. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get that metal sorted out too. All right. Um, how are we doing on medical? We have the ability to double staff these now, so I don't need an extra tent. Uh, I think I will end up putting a hospital out this way though, because it's like I can double dip with this transformer. But to charge the battery, yeah, we need. I want to charge this a little bit faster. I think we want more production. So why don't we have, ooh, right next to this. Yeah. Let's pop another one right here. Like right next to the silly tree. Uh, uh, what are we doing here with the lumber area? He's supposed to be cutting down the trees. Um, notice how we're growing trees pretty well here too. We got uh, good trees growing here. So if I move my work area right here, this should give us a lot of trees for a long time. I still want to clear this first, though, I think. And kind of all of this, too. We could open this up. Let's have us start cutting down trees over here. Having a second logger wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, really, I'm just low, I'm low on people right now. If I could just get the people situation sorted. You know? And concrete is pr running pretty low on concrete as well. Specialist, can we find any concrete for you to just go get for us? That's planks, berries. Uh, is there any concrete that's just hanging out on the map here? Maybe, maybe we do this. Resources. Here we go. Uh, so car concrete appears to be blue in color. Okay, so if we wanted to, we could say, hey, specialist dude, could you kindly go all the way out and just start scavenging all of this? It seems to be the closest supply uh, well, okay, we have metal scrap here, though. That's not blue. Yeah, because so we have concrete ruins there, out this way, these and these. Okay, easy. Yeah, that's fine. And then uh, we'll get rid of the... Uh, one little usability thing or one little, like, quality of life thing I wish we could do is allow me to right-click this button to reset all the overlays to none. Instead of this, having to click it and then go none, if I just right-click this, it should go none, you know? I think that would be a really good, like quality of life improvement too. It's just one really quick little thing, you know? Just tiny little things to make the game better, in my opinion. It's not like having to click this and then click this is uh, inconvenience, but just think about the usability of just being able to right click certain interfaces to remove it, you know? I think it's a good idea. All right, uh, let's take a look. You can go here now and get the tools. You are gonna go I think we're gonna get the painkillers first, and then we're gonna look at the car. Oh, good thing you're getting painkillers. Uh, let's go back in. And the Fisher Hut is being built, but unfortunately we don't have the people to staff it. How many kids do we have? Six children, that's actually not bad. Okay, good. Fishing Hut's done, but that leaves us with no carriers. Uh, I don't think that'll be a super big issue, because as soon as this, as soon as this is all harvested and replanted, we're going to take these farmers off these posts and, uh, you know, put them back into, well, one of the farmers will go and do other carrying stuff, and then one of them will uh, harvest this, because this is just waiting to be harvested right now. And actually, it might be better to, it might be better to unstaff, mm, I don't know, I just want more adults. If we get another pod to come in, I think that's when we jump on it. Our food production is actually still insufficient for our population, though. You know? But, well, aquaculture's coming. Advanced farming. Oh, larger fields. Yes. Good. So we can harvest more things with less people. I think we need to research that now, too. Why didn't anyone clean that waste? I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. Uh, looks like they're going to hit this pile first. That's no big deal. And then, like, the metal and plastic being right here is great for the future, because we can dump some extra facilities right here. And it looks to me like it's possible this plastic pile might... Um, well, sometimes, I don't know if it, how often it happens, but sometimes these piles, once you get everything off the top of them, it will reveal, like, more supplies, like, underneath the ground for more advanced harvesting. 
I don't think that happened kind of anywhere else. Ooh, this scrap metal is almost done. There was one left here. So it's possible that this will get revealed as being that way. Possibly. Uh, if it doesn't, though, then uh, we either need to move this building and get them over here to get this pile, or we need to suck it up for metal for a little bit. I think I'll suck it up for metal a little bit. As soon as this pile is removed, this will free up land, and I can maybe plant some more like larger crops here. Let's get the cultivation done. And as soon as this is done, it's just ready for planting. Okay, so it's, I, I need to wait for both of these farms to be planted. Then I want to move one of them off of farming and put the other one on this carrying because we still have no carriers right now and that's not great are you walking on water oh goodness uh okay satoshi satoshi whatever your name is honestly if you're gonna be walking on water your name is whatever you want your name to be man <laughs> oh this guy needs hygiene Poorly rested. Um, okay, so I think this person is looking for an outhouse. We should probably do that. Let's put another outhouse and we'll stick it maybe like over here. This is okay. We'll stick it like right. I think this is the edge of this with this well. Oh, this well is right here. Yeah, okay. Um, so we can stick this outhouse like right over here if we want to. Let's make that a high priority so we can get more people using it. Because I feel like this one, there's only room for one person. It's open, though. They should be able to keep using it. Yeah. No. Eh. They're going to their tent instead. This should be built, too. Where's my specialist? Oh, he's still gathering the concrete. That's okay. You know what? Instead of the concrete, come build that house. If we can get more babies, that means we can get... Uh... Oh, dear. Intense and oppressive heat takes over the area as moisture evaporates. Colonists struggle to keep hydrated and cool while working. Lakes dry up and plants wither in the cracked soil. Colonists drinks double the, the normal amount. Ooh. Crop yields on open fields suffer and build and fill water storages while stockpiling food to survive. Okay, stop. Let's, uh, let's weigh this. So how are we going to do this? First, let's deal with the specialists. Specialist is still on the painkiller mission. He's got seven left to get. Okay. Uh, who else? You. Um, let's have you. Yeah, I think we need to have you come over and. I wanted to get the cockroaches with you, but now I'm thinking maybe that's. Now, because he's got a turn left. I think I'll have him go for the research. How's your health? Eh, it's pretty high. Your health is lower, so I'm going to have you go for the cockroaches. I'll have you go for the research and maybe even seeing these two zones. I'm actually really impressed or surprised or uh, whatever you want to call it that we haven't run into another civilization yet. I mean, we've kind of expanded our vision quite far, I thought, but maybe they'll we'll see more civilizations in this area. There's, the map gets really big. I mean, we can just, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of area left unseen right now, okay? So, it gets pretty... There's a lot. There's a lot here. We're in the... We're not even in... I don't even know if we can really call ourselves in the mid-game yet, you know? So, they're going to start... Ah, metal is gone. And there is an underground metal deposit here. Fantastic. So, when we research underground stuff... Look at this. There's over 3,100 metal here. It's very cool. But now we need to move your work area uh, to be over here. But instead of that, I'm going to unstaff you so that we get a carrier. And now that you're unstaffed, uh, we actually need to harvest stuff here. Because, the yeah, we, we have to harvest all of our crops so we don't lose them. So I think we're going to go ahead and harvest uh, pretty much everything. And, uh, yes, let's let's go ahead and do that. The small field is growing. I have to harvest it. Yeah. So let's pull people off of all other jobs that are not pertaining to food at the moment. We don't need lumber. Let's get uh, foresters can take a break. Let's get uh, off the scrapping. And we should have a bunch of people kind of freed up here. 
Um, let's reduce our workload on environmental for now. Uh, I think fishing is okay because it's gathering food. Food is important. We're running a little bit eh, on the food bit, but the water is the main concern. Now, I do have 900 in storage and also 500 stored for buildings. So I think we have a lot of water stored and that's great. Um, we have a little bit of a surplus with this well being built any minute now. Let's actually get that. Um, well, let's get water storage actually. Clean water storage. Let's get water storage put in. How about, I think how about here? This is an okay spot, honestly. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's a torch. Oh yeah. Uh, let's rotate you to be like this. I like it. We're going to have this be a high priority building and I want my specialist to focus on that right now instead of the house. The house can be built. It's, it's, it's like a quarter built anyway. Uh, they'll get it sooner or later, but with our water surplus being what it is, I want to get this built so we can start storing the water as soon as possible. Uh, and then you can go build the well, although it looks like we may already have people on the well. Perfect. Okay. So that well is going to, uh, get finished as is this. Oh, we have a bandit raid. Is that so? With the, with a truck. Oh, good. Oh, good. Bandits will pay you a visit from time to time and there's a good chance these conflicts will escalate into a firefight. Try to gather reinforcements, arm the gate, or try to buy some time by bribing the bandits. Ah. Uh... Well, they're coming in with a truck. I could maybe try arming the gate. But I don't have any guns for that. I do have Satoshi as a specialist, but he doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Is it possible to get any specialist back home in time for this? Not a chance in the world. They're all very far away. Okay, well, let's... I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stall as long as I can to prepare for the heat wave. Just as long as I possibly can. And then uh, we'll get done. When, when, when we get it done, we'll get it done. So the water storage is built now. Mm -hmm. And this well is about to be finished by those guys. You see a group of bandits approaching. Yeah, I'm aware. Thanks a lot. All right. I don't think there's ever really going to be like a time where I'm more prepared for what this is. So, I, you know, like... No, no research is going to help me here. Getting specialists back is not going to be possible, really. Uh, I think we're at a point now where I probably should just unstaff these things. We have five carriers. That means we have we have people ready to fight. If we have to fight, we have people ready to fight. Two people at the gate. Let's go see what these guys want. So, yeah, a rowdy, almost joyous group of bandits flock outside your colony, donning improvised yet meticulously intricate armor. Their leader, a woman with her hair drenched in blood, of course. Why would her hair be drenched in blood? I mean, they don't take care of themselves. They just like the blood in their hair. Like, what is this? You're going to start a raid. I assume you got a good night's sleep last night from this. And why are you playing with a grenade? <laughs> anyway, hey, hey, hey. Ready or not, here we come. Say you're more than ready, I guess. Um, this is gonna suck, but I think we should fight. Let's go. Woman smiles and bangs her armor. Others join in and seem to be driving themselves to frenzy with each hit. Oh, sweetie, you could never be ready for us. All right, let's see what happens. So, it looks like they are going to shoot at our gate for a little bit. That's interesting. Uh, specialists should probably come and fight. Looks like Gate is under attack. Gate has less health. Raiders are still here. Uh, is there anything I can do in terms of our specialist helping with this? I do have people at the gate, so maybe it will be worth. And maybe it's, oh, they're going to burn our gate down here, it looks like. Oh, they're coming in fat. Like, this is... Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're getting them. All right, we're winning this. Just hit him at the gate. We got a couple of people staffing it. That's pretty good. We're ready to go, man. Look at this. Their cars are like damaged. They're like smoking. One of them is already down. That's good. Come on, you got this. Let's go. Oh, that's bad. Oh, they're blowing up the cars at our gate. Really? What is flammable inside that? I, we don't actually have fuel in the cars, okay? Like, 
How are they exploding? <laughs> Come on. I, I mean, I guess maybe there is some, like, some sort of combustible material still left in the cars. If we didn't remove the fuel firsthand or... Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We win. Tell me we can raid this and scrap this stuff. Can we scrap this stuff, please? This sounds really good if we can. Can we get repairs on the gate? No. It doesn't let me click anything. Specialists are ready. Let's take a look. Um, let's do the cockroaches. We're going to have a little bit of a shortage in food production for a little bit. Let's go do research if pos. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take extra turns to do. Let's go do the get the research. And then Wheeler, I want you to look for more here. Let's open this up. Take a look. Medical supplies is great. Extra parts is gonna be useful for power later. And then there's more. Uh, I don't know if we need more med medicine. Uh, heat wave. People are gonna get. Yeah. I think always, always lean towards medicine, honestly. Medicine is... <clears throat> All right. So what do we do from this point on? Does this thing just resolve itself? Yeah, it does. The colony has triumphed over its enemies. Good. Now what happens with the stuff? Can we... I wish we could scrap their stuff. You know? I mean, they came with trucks. Let us scrap that stuff. Oh, that's unfortunate that we can't do that. Better Siths or scythes. Harvest speed 20% faster. That's pretty good. Protect crops. Greenhouses shield crops from the elements. They can function even in during catastrophes, providing secure food production during the most difficult times. This takes power, but it, it also takes water away, and uh, it looks to me like it can be irradiated. Is that what that is? Oh, I wanna I wanna take a look at what that is. Um, immune to pollution. Oh, good. That's what I want. Bye. We're getting that. All right. So the heat wave is still incoming. What are we going to have Satoshi do here really quick? This is planting, but, um, yeah, no. Growing. This is already being harvested. This is being harvested. No, it's being planted. I don't want you to plant. I want you to harvest. Anything that can be harvested must harvest now. Um, might as well harvest the, the two that are here, too. Um, let's have that harvested. This has nothing in it. This has nothing in it. No yield. This is already being harvested, and this is being harvested now. Okay. Uh, what else can we have people do? Five carriers. We have 23 additional water production, which is fantastic. But I don't know if the wells... Like, the wells dry up during the heat wave, right? So our production is going to suffer. But we have a full 600 capacity water and storage. So I think we're okay for this. I think we've protected ourselves against the heat wave quite well here. Um, I would like to get additional people cooking meals because I think this process is too slow. We're still eating food. We're still eating raw food, I think, here. Um, so getting that taken care of later on, I think, is going to be a better thing. Food storage is only at 22%, though. That's pretty good. Um, let's grab these two berries and I think I think we're okay fishing is uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do to really properly prepare for this as far as our battery goes uh, we are storing we got a quarter full on that battery now it's nice let's put extra people on waste removal that's something we can definitely hit hard now I got too close to radiation. Uh, because of this is where the race, waste removal is happening, I kind of do feel like having another medical tent over here is a good idea. Uh, I'm going to put it on this side, I think, for now. Ooh, that's underground plastic. Uh, kind of don't want it next to the transformer, but I also don't want it to be like... The hospital is not going to fit here, right? So I think for the time being, we'll put the medical tent here. And that way, these guys, when they get irradiated, they can just go right here and get fixed up. I like that. We'll have extra people on medis medicine then. Um, how many people do we have that are... I mean, we're only occupying half the capacity with one person, so yeah. We have two patient slots. No big deal. All right. Three carriers. Everything is harvested, I hope. 
looks like. Uh, we have four left to harvest there, and everything else is good. Don't plant. Uh, don't plant. And don't cultivate. Mm -hmm. And you're harvesting. That's good. All right. So six carriers. I think that's a beautiful sight. Let's have you go get the concrete from here. So concrete's one of the biggest resources we're, we're light on in terms of... Yeah. In terms of building, I was going to say. So let's see a deal with the specialist for now. Um, it looks like we have actions with you. We can get... Let's see what this is. If we can get people, then I'll focus on research. What are you? Focus on research for trade and stuff, but I don't see another society yet. What are you? Rare metals. First time I've seen those. Guess that's why they call them rare. <laughs> uh, let's go get research. We're only down to 175 now, so that research is actually really welcomed. Uh, what else thought? You got you. Um, okay, yeah, med medicine's going to be needed. That's a really big hazard, is it not? Yes, it is. How, um, how much damage are you taking? Ten a day. You can, you can survive that. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to switch the music up, because this doesn't feel like Armageddon. All right. This feels, yes. This this the mo the mood we're in right now. This is definitely more, more the pace. So the heat wave should I thought dry up the lake, right? That's what it does. People are going to consume more water. We're only down by two. That's pretty good, actually. Negative two balance. We can totally support that. We have so much in storage. We're going to be all right that way. Um, can the gate get repaired? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> it's just sitting there burning still. Oh, also, we don't need people staffing the gate right now. So we can get them off the gate. We just need to get it repaired. All right, what else can we do? We have seven carriers. Is there anything else we can... We could, we could still maybe go after scrap, but I've got 98 of it for now. I really think this is the priority here, yes. Pollution removal right here is like the big thing. I want to get rid of all of that. Because once it's gone, it's gone. You know? This over here too. Same thing. Get rid of that. Um, specialist, I'm going to have you gathering concrete. And uh, we actually have more advanced farms now, correct? Yes, we have bigger fields. Large field. Food grows slowly, but in large quantities. Harvest withers during heat waves and fallouts. No big deal. That is a giant field. Oh my god, it's so big. But it's 79%. Actually, I can get 92 if I do it like this. Oh, that's so good, though. Four times the harvest of a small field, but takes four times the surface area. Requires three colonists to work it. But that's okay. Three colonists to work this efficiently, it takes four times the space. So, really, we're saving a colonist, right? In that, in that trade. Um, this one is twice as much harvest as a small field but takes up twice the space and requires two colonists so we're not getting any extra here so this is the more efficient way to do this and actually removing these four fields and replacing it with one big one is better yes demolish this demolish these four and we're going to replace it with one big one all right hopefully it's a really high yield though 100 percent. yes baby right there that's what i want that's what i want <laughs> good giant field now we need instead of four people to work this we only need three people to work this and once it's growing we kind of only need like one maybe to maintain it and that's it you know group of survivors at the gate they need your attention they approach our burning gate with great enthusiasm <laughs> they're gonna give us rose she is a scavenger at 110 percent efficiency <gasps> that's an automatic yes welcome to the crew <laughs> We're lucky to have your aid. Wait, why did that sound happen? What was that sound? That sound. Was it pollution deposits? What? Post-apocalyptic landscape still holds some scars from the cataclysm. Pollution deposits spread pollution contaminating nearby buildings causing radiation sickness. Yes, I know. Oh, wait. Are you guys fighting us? Oh, they're fighting us. Wait, so that is a pr 
they pranked us, you guys. They freaking pranked us. They're not here for peace. But our but the scavenger is gonna help us. That's actually that's actually nice. Come here, fight them off. I need to save that scavenger. Actually, she's gonna die. Get over here and help us. I want her not to die. There we go. Okay. Well, that was crazy. So, hostile colonists come in. That was new. I didn't anticipate that happening. <laughs> okay. Well, fine. Um, let's hope that this thing gets repaired. I like how I can just staff this very quickly, though. The gate getting staffed. I like that. All right, Rose, you're going to stay in the colony and, um, you know, try to heal up. In the meantime, while you're healing, I'm going to have you go and get uh, these planks. And then uh, Satoshi, I think you're still going and getting the, the concrete. Wow. What a bunch of liars. Look at this heat wave, though. It's gross, this heat wave. I wish there was a way for me to... If you know this, uh, leave me a comment if you know this. How do I remove the UI? I, actually, I think there's a photo mode, actually. Yes, there is. Never mind. Uh, but I... Tilt shift. I don't know. What, what happened? How is it... Yeah, yeah, this. But it's not showing the heat wave. I want it to show the heat wave. You know? If I could get it to show the heat wave... Oh, what about unpause? Does that show it? No. Photo mode doesn't show the heat wave. Lame. It could be a good thumbnail tool. Oh, well. Uh, you. How about we... Let's let's see what's over here. And then we'll go after the car after this. I don't have, I don't have the means to make that car functional at the moment. All right. Guns. Yes. Four guns. Yes, we're going towards the guns. Absolutely. Is it dangerous? You can handle it. You're, you're tough. Uh, all right, good. Yep, we definitely want to do that. So hostile colonists. Unhappy colonists or survivors may occasionally turn against you by becoming hostile. They are driven to create havoc by brawling, looting, and damaging buildings. Build guard towers or deploy guards and gunsmiths to provide adequate weapons to protect the colony. Guard towers... Guard towers, you say. That must be research, because I don't have access to that. I assume that's in colony menu. Education is important. We should do that. Weapon crafting. Okay. So we get the... We get the weapon crafting unlocks the gunsmith. Cleansing unlocks a sauna. Surge protectors are nice. Uh, does this... Let's see. Uh, lightning rods will help the colony to protect itself from destructive lightning strikes. We'll probably want to look at that later too. But where is... Maybe it's in... I feel like it should be in the colony menu. Spirit levels, nurses, guardians. It's just right above it here. Guard posts. Are the backbone of defending the colony against hostile animals or people. Assign people to guard posts so they'll gear up and focus on protecting their fellow citizens. So the guns that we're going to get on the map are good to equi are for equipping guard posts. And then anyone who turns hostile, we can address that very quickly. But right now, I don't have a whole lot in terms of like people. Oh, hang on. Okay, good. So we're not going to... Yeah. We're going to have you guys staffed here. But you're going to wait for the catastrophe to end first before you start with that. And then um, I think I'm going to leave these two fields as is. We'll have them staffed so that you guys can start planting things as soon as it starts. And then I think we're going... Uh, uh, I think we're going potatoes on the big fields. And then we're going to go corn on the little fields. I think. Because the big field, I want huge yield. But I don't want three people to be always, always occupied with it. I think that's where I'm going to go with that. Build a water source. You need colonists, colonists need water. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Okay, so we we brought in new people and that's dropped our, our balance even lower. But as soon as the heat wave's over with, I mean, look at our storage. Man. We're, we're totally fine. 
as soon as the heat wave's over with, we're we're golden. It's fine. These guys are getting berries, and foresters still doing forestry things. I think so. Uh, maybe not both. And then um, recycler has nothing left to recycle except this. Go get that. And what else? I actually want to double staff that recycler because plastic is good. All right. How long does this heat wave last? I mean, I'm not super complaining because, you know, two colonists are now adults. Fantastic. How are we doing on housing? Two spare shelter spaces. Okay. We're going to work on another bigger place now called a tenement. And the tenement is kind of like an apartment building sort of thing. And it is going to be a place where people can live and it's big and it's protecting, but it uh, does not, it's not as comfortable and it's a little bit cramped. So they're less likely to reproduce in that space. It's a way of providing good housing for people, but also population control. And uh, so we're gonna put a tenement right here. It's a pretty big structure. It takes quite a few supplies. We have the supplies to do it, so we will. Um, but when we expand and have more babies and all that kind of stuff, they'll start living in the tenements. Uh, you know, I think they'll actually prefer the tenement over the tents, I think. Um, and, and it'll be it'll be better. It's more effective uh, at guarding them, protecting them, and all that stuff than it is a tent. But because it's apartments, it's very cramped. I believe, I believe it can store eight people. Is that what it is? Eight. Eight colonists, yeah. Shanties do three. The tents do two. The emergency shelter can do six. This is like the tenement equivalent for the tents. Eventually, we'll have better housing, and then we can start focusing on that. And I may do that over in this area. Uh, or we'll may do, we may do it over in this area so that people are living more central to their workspaces if they, if they fish or something, for example. Uh, we'll see. Shanty town. Let's have you go... I want you to go for the guns. The car is cool, though. We could focus on the car, too. I mean, the car lets us get around the map faster, right? Maybe it's good to get the car going faster. But since we're getting raided now, uh, I'm going to go for the guns first. Get the guns first, and then I think the car... Yeah, 587 research is a lot, but... Um... I think we're okay on science points. So let's have you get this. We'll get the car, then bring the car back. That'll be the, the workflow for you. As soon as this heat wave is over with. Satoshi, can you do anything else that's closer? Anything closer. Ooh, Underground Ruins has got a huge supply of concrete. That's awesome. So we got an underground supply of metal there. Underground supply of concrete there. All we need now is an underground plastic supply. There it is, baby. We are... We're going to be smoking. We're going to be awesome there. Okay, so, uh, and that's all really close to camp. So now all we need, let's have you, Satoshi, let's have you, show me resources. How much is left in this? 23 out of 50, all right. You're, you're still doing that, right? That's still your, that's still your gig, yeah. And then Emily, no, not Emily. Emily's losing her hair. Uh, I want Rose. To, she's carrying resources right now. What are you carrying, Rose? What are you currently doing? Oh, the planks. That's fine. That's oh, that's actually the end of the planks, so whatever. Um, I'm going to have you actually go to these ruins. Let's get a whole bunch of concrete, because we're going to need it for the expansions that we're doing. I'm actually considering getting better roads here, too, because they'll, they'll travel faster then, too. Still negative eight on water, but look at the storage. So good. Um, how about we double staff our medical tent for now? We have some people getting irradiated faster than I, faster than I'd like to see. So let's double staff the medical tent. And uh, my interface keeps popping down to the lower corner. I don't know if it's my doing or if it's just messing up. There we go. See. We're really getting the pollution done. I think the, the irradiation is... Oh, you know what? Here, let's put the... Let's staff everybody on medical. We got two here and two here. Because these guys are getting irradiated because they're working in pollution. Working on the pollution stuff. That makes sense. A van approaches. Hello, van. What you got for me? 
Dan the Mystery Van Man. <laughs> what you got for me, Dan? 